I'm done. Go get me a beer. All right, so this is my review for Penula, a sequel that I didn't know about to the infamous Train to Banzai, the South Korean zombie film that is considered, at least to me, and I know other people have said this, one of the best zombie films or the best. Um, so this takes place after four years after the train of Tubuzan, obviously, Bazan. Um, I didn't know it was just, it started in uh, Korea, uh, Korea uh, South Korea. Um, I thought it was one of those films where they just focused on the South Korean area, um, but it happened all over. Apparently it's not, this happened, it started in South Korea. There's a thing about it that kind of hint on about how, uh, I guess they kind of hit it, but about North Korea's involvement maybe, but then and then that goes into po politics of uh, how South Koreans, uh, they always think North Korea is doing something, it's the way around, blah, blah, blah. Um, but the story of this is very, uh, you know, weird. I wouldn't say interesting. Um, they definitely went a, w a different way with this. It revolves around the soldier who is in South Korea as this is happening and then he ends up in Hong Kong and so four years of living in Hong Kong he comes a mercenary with some other people who work for these um, criminals organizations um, so they're in Hong Kong a secure area and then there's a city that is ground zero I guess you could say um, where normally people don't go and it's all quarantined off so their job is to go in there and recover a, a truck which is full of American dollars. That is something I don't understand in general with movies when they do that. I guess you got to have something with the zombies in the background. Um, but the other thing about in this particular one I don't understand is... They never really explain what the importance of American dollars compared to others. Because they even say it's worthless, which obviously it is uh, in there. Um, so that's definitely a plot hole in there. There's, it's definitely some, some interesting stuff in here. The, the concept of, of uh, how they went about this is what you get with the first one is as a refresher and you get usually with Anfield is the over dramatic zombies with the twitching and the running and um, you know this kind of uh, uh, weirdos uh, I guess you could say kind of uh, like they're on crack type of thing you know over dramatic type of stuff um, originally the fast zombies started with um, 28 days, 28 weeks later, 28 days later, I don't remember which one. Um, which were just the fast zombies. These are the fast zombies, but now they're all twitchy and whatnot. And I, I was a little bit laughable in the first one, but I didn't really care. And I didn't really bother, it bothered me in this one. Um, there's definitely some, a bunch of comical stuff in it, and I definitely was not happy about it. Uh, this movie definitely is completely different than the first one. The first one, they took everything seriously, uh, and it was more grounded. This was definitely far from grounded and not normal. Um, there's a, definitely a lot of of, uh, of uh, pop culture to this of uh, around South Korea. You get K-pop, and there's uh, definitely some kind of... Uh, popness to them uh with the uh party lights and stuff i forgot what they're called dv lights or something the color ones uh on the trucks and stuff and here's an example of of what i'm talking about here it's this this the taste of it hey, 
you don't stop, you proceed. Cause this is what you need. You see what I mean? And again, that's the taste of it. Um, but there's definitely a whole lot more to this. Uh, that wasn't necessarily a big deal. I just thought I'd put that in there to give you a bit of a reference. Um, there's a lot in here that I, I really wish I could just put in the video. Um, and uh, one of the, the laughable things about this is the first one you got a subtitle the whole time which I'm not necessarily a fan of um, because I'm a little bit of a slow reader so I literally had to keep stopping it in order to get into the story which does take a little bit away but I did end up loving the first one as I said. With the, with the dub steps, uh, dub um, sub, uh, talking, it can be bad, it can be good. I've seen some in the middle. Last one thing I said, uh, which by the way was a horrible review, and I do apologize for that, for the editing, it was horrific. But there's nothing I can do about it. Um, was good in that one, that's, that's, the dubbing was good. This, this was definitely one of those examples of, not only is the dubs, dubbing horrible, because uh, it's completely off, but they, the, the, whoever they selected to do the voicing was, a lot of them weren't like they met up, matched up with the face of the person. Because, you know, technically with Asians or any certain amount of, uh, of uh, races, you get a certain amount of tones and stuff from their voices when they're spoken in English. And, you know, what I mean, the whole believable thing of it. Uh, it's not like, you know, something you know, like racist, political thing or anything. I don't care. Um, it's just more of that. And it just came off comical. But then they also had a lot of that type of thing you get with Asian films where their commentary is kind of not purposely, or maybe it is purposely, but it's it, to me it's not purposely comical, but it comes off really uh, cheesy and... Um, you know, it, it, it just, it's just laughable. Um, and so you get a lot with the sci-fi scenes in here as well. Uh, a lot of it, as you see in the trailers, the, the whole cars driving fast and doing flips and stuff. And a lot of the physics in here were definitely off, which it's not necessarily a bad idea. I think it was more of the CGI of it was a bit ridiculous. Um, it was it was okay. It wasn't bad, and it, you could tell it was, but it wasn't like something um, like uh, I guess you'd say like a, a, a very low budget film would have. But it, it's definitely noticeable. Um, I, I'm still a bit torn on um, uh, the maneuvers that they did. Were uh, they were definitely all like all over the place and um, uh, definitely unrealistic. And a lot of this stuff comes down to. Something you don't want necessarily in a sequel to a very serious uh, Asian uh, Hollywood film. Um, I, I definitely was rolling my eyes and going, okay, this is kind of weird. Um, you know, it, it, it was, it was this, it, it was an okay movie. It really was. Um, you know, I, I was... As soon as I found out what this this was a sequel to it, I, I wasn't sure if it's going to be good because I saw the trailer and they showed a lot. Um, I thought it would be a good time, and it was. It was a good time. Um, the first one, I, I, I didn't do a review on, obviously, but I, I, I would give that strongly a five. I, I, I'm definitely, definitely disappointed with this movie, and I gave this three out of five stars. Um, that's just my opinion. You could disagree with me. Uh, I, I just expected more from a sequel to the first one, as I said. Um, but yeah, let me in the comments below what you thought. Uh, I, I'm really curious to know what your thoughts are, whether you disagree with me or not. Just keep them respectful. And um, yeah, I love you all and uh, happy Halloween once again. And uh, I will be back on Monday, hopefully, or maybe even one out tomorrow, surprisingly. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you never know. Uh, let's go over one.
Now you don't stop, you proceed Cause this is what you need 